Hey guys, today in this video we're going to talk about oil washes. Now oil washes is probably, in my opinion, one of the best ways to wash your models. Now what you do is you want to go out and buy oil uh, paints. Now not this is the oil paints, not the artist acrylic paints. Okay, there's a difference. They come in like tubes like this as well. So you just make sure that what you're getting is uh, oil colors, not the acrylic colors. Okay, now you get a tube, maybe about the 38 milliliter tubes, and these are the small tubes. They're about maybe four bucks each, and um, they will last you pretty, mu pretty much forever, I mean, with this, just this little tube. And uh, the great thing about it is that there's many, many, many different colors uh, in all these uh, different uh, oil paint ranges. So what I'm holding here is uh, uh, the Daler and Rowney's uh, Gregorian, and this is uh, Burnt Umber. Now what you want to do is at least to you know start getting washes done just to pick you know the correct color like for example you want something uh, dark brown which is this is dark umber okay you want to pick up lamp black as well and then um, any other type of colors that uh, you usually wash with it's out there all you have to do is just you know grab the color for that um, oil line uh, usually any oil paint should work the other thing you want to get is uh, the thinner now uh, there's many types of thinners you can use but what I highly suggest and I believe what less highly suggests as well is to pick up uh, odorless mineral spirits. Now this is what I use, this is Mona Lisa uh, mineral spirits. Uh, so this stuff doesn't eat through your gloss coat as fast as the other stuff does but it will but it takes a while to do. So this is some good stuff, the mineral spirits is what you want to get. Okay, so let's take a look at how you would apply uh, oil paints and how to get it thin and stuff since this is a, a, a question that I get a lot. We'll use some footage on Thunderwolf Calvary painting tutorial. If you wish to think of it, oil washes come in five steps. Gloss, prep, wash, clean, and seal. First is to coat the model in gloss varnish. This helps the wash flow on the model as well make it easy to clean up any mistakes. Normally, I find that after 30 minutes, the gloss coat is dry enough to start washing on. This may vary depending on the varnish you use. Second is to prep the wash. We'll use a paint palette here to mix the wash. I'll be using two colors, lamp black for the wolf and burnt umber for the cinch or flank straps and the saddle. I filled up three compartments with the Mona Lisa mineral spirits. Two compartments is for the two colors and one's for cleaning the brush. Now when using a brush, be sure to use an oil paint brush or an extra old brush lying around. Do not use your expensive detailing brush as they're probably acrylic paint brushes. The oil in the thinner will fray those kind of brushes. All you need is just a little oil paint. Just put a small dollop on your brush. What I do is to set the dollop on the side of the palette, then just mix in the oil really well with the mineral spirits. Then dip the brush from the cleaning compartment and then wipe off all the excess mix on your brush. Then use a paper towel to see if you got the right mix. The paper towel will soak up the mix on the brush and if it comes out saturated and spidery, it's too diluted. Add more oils to the mix. If it comes out very bold and thick, you use way too much oil and add more mineral spirits. The goal is to get it right in between. The best way is to step up on the dilution. Start it saturated and spidery and then move up from there. After a while, you get to the point where it will become very natural for you when you're mixing up your washes. Applying the wash is pretty easy. You want to sparingly apply the wash around the area of the models you use to darken the recesses with. If you apply too much, spread it around before loading the brush again. That's the beauty of doing it on top of a gloss coat. Also if you mess up, no worries. Use a brush loaded with some mineral spirits and brush the model, then use a paper towel and wipe out whatever flows out from the model. Just keep in mind that mineral spirits do eat through the gloss coat after a while, so you should practice a few times on some models that you don't care much about.
Now let the wash dry on the model. This should take around 15 to 20 minutes. If you start to clean up the wash while it's still wet, you'll end up drawing out the wash from the nooks and crannies of the model. Now to clean the model, I use Q-tips. You can also use a makeup applicator or something like that to clean up the model. A few people have problems with the cotton of the Q-tips getting stuck on their models. I actually have no problems with this other than the occasionally snagging by the pointy bits of the model. I do, however, have that problem when cleaning up with acrylic washes on a model as it becomes really sticky. I find that the oil washes do not have this harsh stickiness to it. We'll dip the Q-tip into clean mineral spirits and then dab off the excess on a paper towel. You want the Q-tip to be moist, not damp. Then we start to clean up the oil wash from the surface of the model, leaving the wash inside the recesses of the model. Once done, all you have to do is seal the model and then move up to the next step. So uh, that's it guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it helped you out and I uh, hope it helps you get into uh, you know, oil washes. Now, this stuff, you could do other stuff with it. You could filter with it. You could create uh, weathering effects with it. It's awesome stuff. I will get into that type of techniques later. But for right now, this is for oil washing. So again, like if you like, sub if you haven't, and uh, favorite if you love me, I'll talk to you guys later.